The Panator plays a Slave Aspire. It's time to try again, but slowly this time. I feel like we've been playing a bit fast. Commenters have mentioned that I've been playing a bit fast and I don't think things through. Which I guess is a metaphor for how I approach my life, which explains a lot. What, what are we looking at here? Uh, two shops, a lot of fights, and elites everywhere. Ascension mode one. Hmm. I think we should try to take fights, gain the cards we need, not go immediately to the shop, and circle around here. This has a campfire for upgrades, several paths that lead to a bunch of campfires for upgrades, so uh, depending on what we get, we might veer off to the campfire or not. I don't want to lose that necessarily, I don't want to lose my, uh, my relic. 100 gold seems super important. Let's see, and around like, I, I want to say like 20 gold per fight. So, with 99, 150, 250, 250, we have a good shot of getting something amazing at that shop. So, we're going to get the gold instead of the rare card. I think a random rare card is fine, but I like making decisions. We're going to go to the leftmost one because I'm feeling lucky tonight. Alright, we're going to bash you and we're going to smash you. Okay, Pat, slow down. But then again, the decisions are a lot easier at the beginning. It's later on when things get funky fresh. Tame in the West. Now, who are you going to call? Oh, okay. So, you're not weakened anymore, which means my bash won't into strike won't kill you. And this is 18, so we defend. We bash. Set up for the next round. I don't know if bash is actually that good. Thank you for giving me two strikes. One strike would have been weird, especially since I think it's statistically impossible at that point. Headbutt is more generally useful than heavy blade, I feel. Because this requires a stir build. I mean, it is it is enabled by a stir build. So I feel like this is a late pick as compared to a headbutt, which can let you get a more consistent draw. Oh yeah, around 20. Around 20. So, this is a concern, because this is 20 and this is 19. Neither of which really works for me. In terms of pure killing power. So I'm just going to hit this really hard. Bring it down to 5. I could have proc the other shield, but I think they only deal 5 anyway. Okay, six. Fine, we deal six, and I have to attack twice for this. Oh, you little bastards. Owie. So he's going to attack again, which is very unfortunate, because I don't think I can kill him, because this is a six. We are weakened, so he's just set up for a kill. Do we even need to set up for that kill? I don't think so. I think we can just not take it. I mean, it would have gone faster, I guess. Also, probably should not have put block on top of the deck. I mean, it worked out, but still. Okay. Fire breathing is generally good, I feel, but it for it puts us into a weird spot because it's an all attack thing, but it is crowd control. So I'm going to go with fire breathing over true grit and rage. All right. Question marks. Don't attack. Okay, that's good. So we can start fire breathing. Hit this for 12. 30 HP on that other guy. Let's set them all on fire. Okay, so we don't want to bring anything back. I mean, I want to play it because it's it's more damage. More damage means more iron. And now he's just going to, I don't know, I guess visible. So we're, I'm pretty sure that, that Fire Breathing doesn't proc on Whirlwind. Though I'm still going to pick Whirlwind if I get Whirlwind because Whirlwind is amazing. Second Headbutt. I mean, playing two of those in the same turn really just bounces back into your hand. But Armaments could be interesting. It's, it's a utility card, not a defensive card, so... I don't know, we'll see. A large hole in the ground, become cursed doubt. I mean, I'm okay with taking the gold because we're about to go to a shop. And we can immediately remove that curse. Uh, speaking of a whirlwind. Ah, okay. We can remove curses or become cursed. I did this in the wrong order. God damn it. Uh, slow down. Card removal service. Remove doubt. Weaken is actually pretty bad. I think it's still early enough to be okay with this, but Panache synergizes with uh, synergizes with our whole many attacks thing, but we don't have to commit to that yet. Oh, oh, we upgrade something. Okay, I did it in the right order. Okay, I'm I'm willing to pay money for that upgrade. So we're gonna run into an elite, but we're also gonna upgrade something, which is uh, party fire breathing. I'm okay with keeping this. Or upgrade all the cards in our hand, which is uh, slightly more manageable. Hmm. Not a fan of this outcome. 
or, or this set up forever. I think I want to defend. Yeah, because 816.24 wasn't going to kill it unless we used a potion. I don't think that's necessary right now. Though, probably should have, just to keep the whirlwind going. Yeah, okay, 7. That's that's more that's more workable as, as damage goes. This is 16. This is 12. So if we do this, we can set up for a nice strike turn next time. Headbutt into... Well, we just reshuffled, so the timing is off. Uh, this will kill this. Then we can defend twice. Or try to defend twice at any rate. This jawworm hurts like a brick. But fights like what? What, what? I... I mean... I'm okay with just setting up a, a kill on him. So she's got six armor. Whirlwind is eight plus twenty-five percent. What's twenty-five percent of eight? Two? So that's ten, thirty. That is not enough. But it's still more value if we do this. Oh, it's still deal six, because we're weakened. Okay, so we confirmed that that's it works in the way we think it does. Fourteen damage though. I mean, you're at seventeen, and I can deal like a bunch. I'll pick up Whirlwind again, but I mean, he's dead already. Uh, seeing red synergizes well with what we want to do. Let's just play more cards. I mean, it's just plus one, but this still works. This elite is a bit questionable. It's going to start hitting us very hard. I think we just need to race it. Fire breathing, it, it's not a power. I think I'd rather just take it on with Shin. What do we have next? Well, we have this next, and we have another shot, but they both lead to elites. We'll see. We'll see how we feel. Let's we'll see what we get from this guy, actually. Uh, yes. Strike. Strike. Not enough. That's 26. Take the 14 on the chin. Hey, why aren't you upgraded? Didn't I upgrade you? I'm almost certain I upgraded you because of this thing. Oh, it adds it to our hand. Oh, 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 okay. All right. Well, I read that wrong. So we're going to take six. Or not. I don't want to take six. We're at half health. Like, I'm fine with that. Hmm. Rage, gain four, block whenever we play an attack this turn. I think that's too much setup now. With, with fire breathing. And we're not actually synergizing very well with that yet. 15 is a little thick for me. So I want to go here. Like I definitely want to go here. And since our life is low, Penib is can be absolutely disastrous for them. Long string of fights. Question mark, please. Uh, remove a card in your deck. Upgrade a card in your deck. Well, thanks for the free upgrade. Man, I read that wrong. But having it in our, in our hand to begin with seems really, really, really good. We also don't have a lot to upgrade, so this this also feels good. Don't want to go to that shop. Don't want to lick the lollipop. This guy, though, this guy threatens to be a hassle. Hmm. We need 16.24. We're gonna... Not gonna proc it yet. Hopefully we draw into enough attacks to really get the numbers down in that guy. We do not get all the numbers we want. I mean... Even if we see red... I don't want to take 16, so I'm going to throw this at him to, to, to split him up. Which is okay. It's not fantastic. Now he's threatening 8. But if we reduce him to by 15, we can do it. And we can certainly do that. Just stop the attack. Huh. Oh shit, he doesn't split. Why did I think he can split? Oh yeah, because the big one did it and now I'm assuming like, oh, they, they all do it. Get strategic on this. Searing Blow Juggernaut, whenever you gain block, you'll free. Not really synergizing us. Searing Blow, mmm. Still don't have stir. And it is enabled by stir. It enhances the value of our stir. Oh, we only have one attack and like eight whirlwinds, so. That, that felt good. Second Whirlwind seems very greedy. 
War Cry lets us start with that guy. Which I think is still a, a good idea. But I do want to upgrade that if we can. 20, 74 HP is good. Receive Golden Idol is... Can wound us? Can remove HP? No. I want to I wanna upgrade. I want to upgrade Seeing Red so it becomes more valuable. It actually is a plus two now. Okay, proceed according to plan. This guy we just punch in the head like over and over again. I mean, this seems early. I'm going to do it. Shh, Guardian. Shh. So any unhit effects apply after whirlwind because it counts as one attack. That's good to know. I also want to just sort this guy out. I don't think we're going to have any trouble with him, but I want to go faster. Got to go fast. Armaments is good. Fire breathing is good. Headbutt I'm willing to take so we can get whirlwind again. Okay, so here's the theory. I got a theory. It, it could be bunnies. So does it does it hit for all of that? I think since it counts as one attack, or whenever it takes, play an attack, uh, take 3 damage. So this should count as one, right? The Fury is sound, but I would try that on a turn that wasn't this. Put this back down, get two defense up, and just pass. Yeah, because his other phase tends to hit very hard. He's going to try to hit for 20 here. Which I guess is still fine. Because we're going to stop him from doing that. Okay. Hmm. Armaments is fine. Defend is fine. Strike is fine. Now is not the time to test out that whirlwind. I would like to get a win under my belt. We have no. We have nothing. We have whirlwind now. It's 1624. I wish we could put that back on top. Hmm. Yeah, because now we can't guarantee hitting him next round. So I think we just block. Now we can try the damage race here. Nope, we're not going to try that damage race right now. Let's not get hit for 20, son. And it's a relatively simple boss, I think. I don't remember him having any big attacks unless we let this keep happening. I mean, Whirlwind's going to knock him out of that. It's 1624. It's not actually going to knock him out of that. Still, though, I think we need to go hard. Charging up. 32 is bad. 12 plus 6. We need to deal 24. So 12 plus 6. 18. Oh, that looks like a 24 to me. Let's put you back on top of the deck. And now we can test out whether or not Whirlwind does what I think it does. So with a little thinking, apparently we can go pretty far. Uh, let's see if we get hit thrice. Okay, so it only hit once. That's good. That is... Uh, it is according to plan. So now we, we just deal 12, win the game. Move on with our day. Add card bludgeon, exhum, or... Berserk. Uh, Berserk seems good. But, hmm, I wish I could see the next map to see if we can try to roll for a, a bottled flame, the bottled flame equivalent. Bludgeon? I mean, Bludgeon's a good single target card and we don't really have one of those yet. I'll take Bludgeon. Everything Dome, Astrolabe, Transform for the cards. I can no longer see enemy intent, but actually it does matter a little bit. Uh, we don't have to pick one, but I'm going to pick one. For these strikes and you're out, I think, and considering all the offense we have, we're going to do strikes and a defend. See what we get. Two entrenches. Puts us in a very weird spot. I mean, now we got an upgraded block and two trenches. So I'm slightly more motivated to pick up more defensive cards. Upgrade opportunity, elite shop. Okay. So if we go down here, we can't get to the shop. Our decision point is here anyway. What about the right side? I mean, there's, there's too many fights. I don't like fighting in, in this arena. I don't like fighting the second act. I actually don't like fighting beyond the first act. I mean, then there's this asshole. 
Hmm. Right. I figure I just need to hurt him because he's gonna get like a fudge ton of armor anyway. Okay, so we can defend. We can entrench for twelve. Headbutt for eighteen. Pick up the whirlwind. And then guarantee a kill next round. That seems good. Cause that's a twenty-four, Pat. That that's twenty-four. That's not a guaranteed kill. In fact, we have to defend. So we're gonna do this. Put this back down. And bludgeon for 32, which is a guaranteed kill, I think. Yep. Uh, have up for zero is interesting, but this might not be the level for it. Who's our boss? Who's our boss? Who's the boss? I don't remember you. You're not Hexaghost. That's a first, first round guy. Is this the armor guy? Hmm. I think it just bricks up the deck. We don't have synergies for them, so we move on to the question mark. I'm not sure I'm looking for more cards necessarily. I don't want to become cursed. Get right to that question mark. Let's not forget we have pen nib, by the way. I'm gonna... Sure, I'm okay with, with that. We're not seeing a shop for a while, though. Fuck this guy. Hmm. Uh, yeah, because we're not actually going to hit his armor. I mean, we can, but it's not worth it to prick off one. Double attack. We Do we have anything that lets us manage that? Yes, we do. Sentinel into entrench. Actually, it doesn't do that much, because it'll just be 18. Jacks me. Uh, let's pass. Take 12. He has to stop at some point, right? I mean, this feels good. Do we need seeing red? Okay, so... We have 5 to expend. So we can see red. Plain trench. Doubling her block. Hit him really hard. And then take no damage. Slowly. I mean, we can hit him hard again, but he's also going to hit us for 10. So I'm not sure I'm a fan of that. Maybe we should just take the 10. Or take, you know, like none. Ah, uh, Metal says Bloodletting Rampage. Block is intriguing, considering it synergizes with all of our stuff. Sort of. Bloodletting, I think is okay. But we don't have the draw to support it. It is... Yeah, extra energy seems really good with our stuff, and it doesn't really lose us anything. But we also don't have that many defensive options. I'll take it because it's amazing with our stuff. I think we can also upgrade it. Proceed according to plan. We want to take an app. Do we want to dodge that guy? If we do dodge that guy, we'll, we'll run to an elite later in a shop. And then we can run into two shops if we wanted to. I'm going to dodge the elite. Since we're going to fight one later, I want to be in a better position. Uh, crypting writings. This could be good. This could be really good if we get um, Necronomicon. So I'm willing to take some hits here. 1 HP, 2 HP, 3 HP, go. Give me a neck. Nope. Nope. Uh, we get the Enchiridion at the start of each combat. Add a random power card to your hand. Cause zero until the end of the turn. That's. I mean. I think this is a heal moment. I just want to see what, what upgrade this does to H2 is fantastic. Gain for star exhaust. Not right now. Twenty-four. I mean, we we essentially gain only seventeen. How many fights do we have? Possibly two. And our defense isn't that great. Well, we have two entrenches, but I don't know if that, if that counts as great. I'll. I'll do it. I don't know if stir is all that valuable to us, but I'll do it. Big bludgeon. Big bludgeon feels good. Mm-hmm. And then there's this asshole. In flame, huh? Jax. Here you go. Take 12. Counts as one attack, so it only procs after. Enfeebling spores. 
Well, it's a world of defense now with double entrench. Whoop, 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 whoop. Defend. Entrench for 12. We can entrench for 24. But we can try to set up for another whirlwind, which is 12 now. Yeah, we are at 8. 24. I mean, in theory, we don't have to pick. I think I want to keep my HP up since we're fighting an elite first, later. Taking three is certainly better than taking eight. A bludgeon. I mean, 34 damage is exactly what we need. Hmm. Now this is a, a little better. I mean, if I didn't have bludgeon, I'd pick this. But I have bludgeon, so we're not going to pick anything. Let's move on. Oh, lordy. Well, we got Juggernaut now. I would like to look for anything that gives us more more damage, which is that. We want Sentinel later. So we can Jax up. It's not going to kill them, but it's going to put us in a position to start reducing the, dam the incoming damage later. Kaka, indeed. Two strikes won't kill anything, so we can double and we can single entrench. Hmm. Now we can kill something, but that's okay. I did not consider this. This is gonna hurt. Well, actually it won't. Hmm, okay. Don't have any draw. But we can kill one of them, which we're gonna do. Reduce incoming damage, put whirlwind back in our hand. Uh, on top of our deck. And since we have Whirlwind on top of our deck, guaranteed into seeing red, we can just defend twice because we're going to kill them next round. And then we pass. Okay. And then we, we just deal 20 damage for dice, which is 60, which... My powers were matched. Uh, evolve Clash True Grit. No, thank you. Not right now. We get Bronze Scales, which I guess is interesting. Here we go. Well, we got Whirlwind, so it's all over now. Let's try to look for something big. Seeing red is big. I want to put this on top of the deck. Do we want the Sentinel is the question. We're not playing this. That's a guarantee. Oh, what? Oh, we draw a card. That's right. Nothing matters. Sunlight for 8 reduces to 24. 8 times 5 is 40, which doesn't kill it. So I think it's worth playing this once. We have more. We can get bloodletting for more. Might be worth it. I get Jax, that's good. Now we were good. Now we don't take as much. I could have probably entrenched. That might have been better. I mean, certainly this is better. Yeah, I probably should have entrenched. Because we didn't need to kill these. Whirlwind? Bloodletting. Okay. So we don't have to we don't have to take eight. We can just bash this. Set ourselves up for a Possible kill or a possible play with whirlwind next turn. Ouch. Ow. Okay, that's bad. And we didn't get to whirlwind. This is a purity defensive turn, I feel. Due to the sheer size of our enemy. We have nothing that'll stop what they're doing or kill anything, so just entrenching is probably fine. Ow, ow, ow. Now is the time for you, my dear captain. 30, 44. I don't want to take this, which is why we're doing this now. So, I mean, there's a good chance we'll kill him. Especially since he's not attacking. Yeah, we'll get punched in the face. Uh, uh oh. We didn't have an attack, right? I didn't miss anything. Well, we have a bludgeon for, you know, big numbers. Get out of here, you minions. You're scaring me. We also took a significant amount of damage there. Not a fan. 
Uh, this arm might be good. Shop. Lots of fights. Concern. So if we can find something defensive here, that would be great. Offering is so fucking tempting. This just applies vulnerable. If there's anything I'd remove, I'd probably remove a strike. Let's buy defensive potions. I'm gonna buy these two. Like that's more energy, which adds up to more with our guaranteed whirlwind and this. With vulnerable, we should be able to clear out most starting. Oh fuck. Oh, we got it in flame. Bludgeon is 44. This is 30. Bludgeon it hits a little, very, very hard. I'm willing to spend this. We drink the potion. We hit with bludgeon. We headbutt. I guess we whirlwind for one. So now we guarantee a kill unless bludgeon becomes a four cost card, which I feel is impossible. Well, it's a zero cost card, so that feels good. Get another energy potion. Rupture Havoc. Not a fan. Warcry. Second Warcry is weird. I mean, we can try to avoid this fight, but we go to the question mark, so I'm going to take it. I should not have taken it. Do we need it? Fire breathing. Seeing red for five. Eight. That's 40 damage. We can add two more. I mean, I think it kills it. That's that's more than enough. I need to take care of this guy before he starts bogging us down, especially since our HP isn't fantastic. Legend's a good pick, apparently. I think I need something better than that. I think I need something better than shrug it off, but it's what we have. Oh, it's a shop. Nah. No, no, no. Draw three might be important. We can look for... I think we take the extra block. Just to survive the last one. And then we take a nap here. So for the life of me, I cannot remember who this guy is. Yep, it's it's that jerk. Willing to take this for the extra beef. Willing to disarm him because he, that's really good. He's gonna summon dudes, right? Do we draw a card again? Okay, so now we strike. Yeah, because he's gonna make babies, and now we'll have Whirlwind for it, as well as a Jax. Throw this at him. Maybe we should have done this earlier. 30 is not gonna kill them, but it, I mean, we're also not taking that much damage. Do we race him? He deals 51 damage after a while, and Entrench works out for us there. Do we have any more mass kills? Do we want to set this up? Because 14 plus 8 is not okay. But sitting and waiting for him to kill us might not be good as well. It's time to drink. I know it doesn't kill them. But I think we need to set up. We need to bust these guys down as soon as... My bludgeon! Well, that's bad. Wish we had more attacks. You have my bludgeon? Who has my bludgeon? Bash... He's gonna steal something. He might steal Whirlwind. Which is why I'm not really interested in dealing with him now. I should have killed him. I should have killed him first. So we can headbutt into something safe. Hmm. He's gonna beef up. Oh, he stole it. 20 damage is nothing to fuck with. Now I can use Whirlwind. I can set up for Whirlwind, rather. 
So we can armament and upgrade everything. Uh, gain 11, which will save us some HP. Headbutt this. No, headbutt him. Because we're going to put... No, it's in our deck already. Just in case we don't find an answer. I mean, this is as good as it gets. Okay, so we have some defensive cards. We have Bludgeon. He's about to hit us for 51. So if we can try to defend against that, which we can't. I think it's too late. I think we took too long. Yeah, he's gonna do nothing. Pen Nib is active, so if we could get something amazing here. Like a Bloodletting... Into Whirlwind... I mean, that's not going to kill him. 13 times 2 is huge. Holy shit. Can I kill you? 44. Plus 11 is 50. Now is not the time. Because we'll die. That, what's that? That's a 26. Is the 11 damage worth it? I don't think so. He's gonna have to reset. I've never seen past this cycle. I usually die. Okay, this is the time to hit. Hmm. This is still the most damage, but I'm thinking of whether or not I want to put something on top of the deck. Thirty-two. Okay. That's why we got shrug it off. Entrench, please. Damn. Does he just keep attacking at this point? I mean, we're, we're still hurting him back. Okay, I guess that's his cycle now. It's just attack, defend. Okay, so... I would like to get entrenched for next turn. Do we have another? Oh, we have another entrenched. We're fine. So just go to town on him. We could have guaranteed a kill with smash. I think fifty-seven. Fuck! 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 Eleven plus eight is nineteen plus two. Ah, oh, we could have guaranteed a kill with bash, with forty-two. No, we wouldn't have. I think that's it. 22 times 2 is 40. Well, may as well try. Because I can't kill him now. 42. 44. 57. We'd have 1 HP. And we killed ourselves. And we killed ourselves with with, with draw. Well, now it's close. <sighs> Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, you can subscribe to the Dark Fluffy Cloud channel so you don't miss a thing. While waiting for your next episode, you can like the video, you can share it, you can leave a comment, you can do all those nice things and more, but you don't have to do anything I say. Not the boss of you. Well, I am his panator and hell. See you later. Damn, that was that was close. <laughs>